Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I offer my thoughts on the topic of Joe Biden running for re-election in 2024? Is Joe Biden mentally fit to be president? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing by this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll look at the background of Joe Biden, including his unusual behavior, then offer my analysis. Joe Biden is the 46th president of the United States. At the time making this video, he is the current president. He has had a long political career, including serving in the U.S. Senate and as vice president. When Joe Biden defeated Donald Trump in the 2020 presidential election, he became the oldest person to assume the presidency in U.S. history. Joe Biden intends on running for re-election in 2024, but there are serious concerns about his age and fitness. He turns 81 years old in November of 2023. He's in good physical condition for his age, although he does appear to have some ambulatory problems. For example, he has repeatedly struggled walking on stairs. For many people, the main area of concern involves Joe Biden's cognitive fitness to be president of the United States. He has exhibited unusual behaviors over the last few years. This has led to his cognitive abilities being called into question. Let's take a look at a few examples of his concerning and peculiar behavior. Joe struggles remembering people's names and what their jobs are. For example, he could not remember the name of his Secretary of Defense. He introduced Kamala Harris as President Harris, referred to himself as a senator, and once called out for a congresswoman who was dead. Joe Biden has trouble remembering where he's been and what he's done. For example, he falsely claimed that he had been arrested for civil rights activism and that he had made an in-person visit to a synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Joe Biden has misspoken many times. He said that Russia was at war with Iraq. He called Ukrainian people Iranian. He has repeatedly insisted that his late son, Bo Biden, died in Iraq when Bo actually died in the United States. And in June of 2023, Joe talked about meeting a conservation goal by the year 2020. Perhaps he thought he could go back in time. Joe has lost his temper with reporters and even called one a stupid son of a blank. He has repeatedly become confused when on stage like he tried to shake hands with empty space next to him and has wandered around aimlessly on stages many times. Joe has developed a habit of using archaic or curious expressions. After ending a speech on gun violence in June of 2023, he declared, quote, God save the queen, man, unquote. His staff claimed that he was commenting to someone in the crowd, although there is no evidence to support that assertion. In September of 2023, Joe Biden awkwardly wandered off stage at a Medal of Honor ceremony before the ceremony had concluded. He left the recipient, Captain Larry Taylor, standing alone on stage. The captain deserved more respect than this. Larry Taylor served as a gunship pilot in Vietnam. He rescued four soldiers who were on a long-range patrol in June 1968. The captain used his AH-1G Cobra helicopter gunship to transport the men, even though the helicopter was not designed for that purpose. If not for his courage, the men certainly would have been killed because they were being surrounded by a large number of enemy combatants. The captain's story is fascinating, but it is beyond the scope of this video. I placed a link for an article about his heroic actions as the first item in the reference section in the description. There was another incident in September of 2023. Joe Biden was at a press conference in Vietnam. He falsely referred to Good Morning Vietnam as a song. It was actually a 1987 movie with Robin Williams. When talking about climate change, Joe talked about what he believed was a John Wayne quote when he used the phrase, quote, lying dog-faced pony soldier, unquote. Joe has used this phrase before. Movie experts have not been able to find any movie where John Wayne put those words together. There is a 1952 movie titled Pony Soldier, but John Wayne is not in it. During the same press conference, Joe wandered away from the podium and appeared to be confused. 
He was silent for several seconds before mumbling. Eventually, he said, quote, I'm just following my orders here, unquote. The press conference was quickly ended by his staff. In addition to all the problems I've mentioned, Joe Biden has demonstrated a long series of inappropriate behaviors around women and girls, which includes sniffing, hugging, kissing, and violating personal space. Sadly, this list of Joe Biden's peculiar behavior isn't even close to being complete. Joe Biden racks up these incidents faster than Donald Trump accumulates felony charges. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts on a few areas that stood out to me in this case. Item number one, when considering the question, should Joe Biden run for re-election in 2024, there has been a lot of emphasis on his mental fitness. In order for his mental fitness to be relevant, however, one must consider Joe Biden's probability of surviving through a second term as president. If he doesn't make it all the way through a second term, there's no need to worry about mental fitness. This brings me to the question, what is the probability of Joe Biden surviving through a second term? He is in pretty good health, but he's also in a very high-stress job. Statistically, Joe Biden's life expectancy is 88 years old. He has about a 66% chance of living to 86 years old, which would be his age at the end of his second term. Of course, every president is at risk for dying before completing a term, but Joe Biden's risk is much higher than usual because of his age. It is important to consider not only the probability of survival, but the level of functioning. Just because a person is alive doesn't mean they are functioning well. Even if Joe Biden lives through his second term, he may not be capable of physically performing the job of president. It's difficult to estimate the risk of him becoming physically incapacitated, but given the information that is available now, I would estimate that Joe Biden has a 50% chance of being both alive and physically functional through the age of 86. Put another way, there's a 50% chance that Kamala Harris would be acting as president at some point during Joe Biden's second term. Item number two, assuming that Joe Biden will be alive and physically functional through his second term, how do people feel about his chances of remaining mentally fit during that time? Recent polls provide some idea of what voters may be thinking. In May 2023, a Washington Post ABC News poll indicated that 68% of voters believed that Joe Biden was too old to run for re-election. 48% of Democrats felt the same way. Joe Biden's approval rating was 36%, the lowest on record for any first-term president a year and a half from the next election. Only 32% of voters said that Joe Biden was mentally fit. In September of 2023, an Associated Press poll indicated that 77% of voters believed Joe Biden was too old to run for re-election, 69% of Democrats felt the same way. A Wall Street Journal poll taken around the same time returned similar numbers, with 73% of voters and 66% of Democrats believing that Joe was too old. Item number three, the easiest way to determine Joe Biden's mental fitness would be for him to take a cognitive test. Unfortunately, he has refused to do so. There are many different cognitive tests. All of them are painless, and many of them take less than 15 minutes to administer. Why doesn't Joe Biden simply take a test? There are a few possible reasons. He may be arrogant, grandiose, or have a sense of entitlement. He could have a lack of insight, or he may be afraid of the results. Item number four, should Joe Biden run for a second term? Let's take a look at the evidence both for and against the idea that Joe Biden should not run for re-election, starting with the factors that support this theory. According to polls, most people believe Joe Biden should not run. Joe's probability of surviving a second term is not reassuring. Kamala Harris would become president if Joe died. This is a frightening prospect, although it would usher in a golden age of comedy, considering she is known as the word salad vice president. There are concerns about Joe Biden's functioning, including both physical and mental. Looking at just the mental side, Joe has demonstrated many different behaviors consistent with having some type of cognitive impairment. For example, he has become increasingly dependent on written reminders. He has had trouble finding the right word, recalling names, or completing sentences. 
He has become confused and disoriented. Joe appears to struggle when attempting to reason, solve problems, or make plans. He has demonstrated an inability to learn new information. His continued use of archaic phrases may be due to memory problems. His long-term memory is intact, but more recent events have been forgotten. Joe Biden has trouble remaining focused and has been irritable, frustrated, and angry. Now moving to the factors that contradict the theory that Joe Biden should not run for re-election. Every president has a risk of dying during a term. Joe Biden has a tendency to forget names, but this does not mean that he has a cognitive impairment. Many people have trouble remembering names, and Joe Biden meets a lot of people during the course of his job. No one could possibly expect him to remember everything. Joe Biden has always made gaffes, and he has a stuttering problem. These could explain some of his symptoms. His ability to think on his feet may be severely compromised, but a president doesn't need to make decisions quickly, at least not usually. Joe Biden has a lot of experience. Maybe this compensates for his cognitive limitations. When considering all the evidence, do I think that Joe Biden should run for re-election? No. There are simply too many concerns about his survival, his functioning, and specifically about his mental fitness. His unwillingness to take a simple cognitive test is unacceptable and insulting to voters. It makes more sense to select a candidate who could do a better job, someone not haunted by lying dog-faced pony soldiers. Now moving to my final thoughts. The mainstream media wants to focus on the flaws of Donald Trump, but this is not a complete strategy for promoting their liberal values. There is more to this issue than just Biden versus Trump. The situation is also about Biden versus another Democrat who could run for president. The media is just assuming that Biden should run again in 2024 and not appreciating the availability of other options. They are wandering aimlessly, just like Joe Biden. It's possible that the media thinks that Joe Biden will somehow stay functional despite the evidence to the contrary. One might conclude that they are trying to keep him healthy by encouraging him to play baseball, which is why they keep throwing him so many softballs during interviews. Those are my thoughts on the mental fitness of Joe Biden and whether or not he should run for re-election. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.